Hey guys, welcome back. It's Rowena. It's Felicia. And today we're gonna do an Ulta haul. This is sponsored by DHC. And if you're like, hmm, what's DHC? They're the number one dark beauty brand in Japan. And to celebrate their launch in Ulta, we decided to do a haul for you guys. Yeah, and so we asked you guys in our community tab which products or brands you wanted to see. And an overwhelming amount of you guys said hair or hair care. So today we're gonna be rounding up our favorite hair tools, skincare tools, hair care products, as well as the DHC skincare. For me, I like to concentrate on texture because my hair is really like thin, limp, and just like flat. So I want texture and body and volume. And then Rowena, very dry, frizzy core. So it's like smooth, anti-frizz, yeah. all that good stuff. So there's something for everyone out there. So let's just jump into first skincare tool. <laughs> With these for you, these were kind of a new pickup for us. There's um, two kind of face tools that they have. This is the Luna Fofo. 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 And then this is the UFO. So let's start off with this one. UFO, I guess it makes sense now because it's like. <laughs> and then the light. <laughs> so it's basically like it heats and it also cools. Much like yes. the other tool that we mentioned from Vanity Planet, mm -hmm. it helps with the absorption of these serum pads. This one is the nighttime, it has ginseng and olive oil. This is the hyaluronic acid with red algae for the daytime. So there's like a bunch of these. I think there's like five or six different mm -hmm. pads you can do. So what you do is you take out the little sheet, which is like a mini little face mask, slip it in there, and then pop this thing back inside. It's a 90 second mask, and then it goes from like hot, pulsates, and then it slows down and then it starts cooling. So it's like the thermal spa treatment yeah. at home. And then the first time she used it, she's like, Val, you have to try this. So because this sheet in here is like serum essence in a pouch, like very thick, goopy serum, I like using this after cleansing, toning this, mm. and then moisturizer after. Just kind of like a really luxurious and comfortable way to put on your serum. <laughs> the app, I feel, is kind of gimmicky. Like, yeah. it, you can do different things with it, but this actually works without the app. Like, you can still use it if you don't plug it to your yeah. phone or connect it to your phone. So what this is to me is basically like a very fancy treatment. I don't think it replaces sheet masks as it claims it does because I feel like sheet oh. mask is for epic hydration. Like it really, really helps to hydrate your skin. Highly surprised and loving this. Very surprised, but to be fair, now the price. 297? 200. I did not know that. <laughs> is it worth it? I think if you're really into skincare, this is a luxury. Nice and you have, have money just to like. Yeah. Okay, so moving on to this one, which is a little less um, intense, yeah. I guess. This is the one that you've probably seen or heard. You guys asked about it. It's the Luna and it's one Fofo. of those. <laughs> it's so cute. All their little things are like so cute. So it's got these little, what do you call it? The bristles, bristles. Nubs. The very top part, it is pretty hard and rubbery. And I think yeah. this part is for like, like nose, mm -hmm. get into the crevices. And then the rest of it, it's so soft. So you're supposed to use this like circular motions for your cheeks and for your forehead. Yeah. And then for your nose, gliding up and down motion. So when I tried this one, cleanser that I used wasn't like overly frothy or anything. When you use your hands, you can like froth it up. With this, I don't think it creates as much foam because it's kind of like it pulsates and then the bristles It's very just, gentle, like yeah. very, very weak pulsations. I actually recommend it for those of you with sensitive skin rather than a bristle brush because the bristle brush actually works more into the skin than I feel like this. Dr. Dre did a side-by-side -side comparison with her hands on one side and with this on the other and she's mm. like, they're both more or less the same. But for me, like after I washed my face, I just felt like it was so smooth and so soft. It kind of felt different than when I washed it my face like with fingers, right? It was like, like very moisturized and hydrated. Mm. I couldn't explain it. And you can see my face again. I was like, ooh. Wow. But also, this isn't to like scrub away makeup. Like make sure you get your most of the makeup oh, yeah. away. Yeah, and yeah. then use this on a clean face because all your makeup is gonna get stuck and probably color the bristles. <laughs> so second step of double cleansing. My thoughts are it's kind of expensive. It's nice to have, but it's not essential. If you want a gentle exfoliator, check it out. For those of you who haven't heard of DHC, it's just one of those well-known Japanese brands for skincare and also health that have been around for a while. So because they're launching a bunch of their new skincare, we thought we'd try them out, test them out, and tell you guys our review. So let's start off with the cleansing oil. This 
is the first step of double cleansing yes. with an oil because then the second step is a water-based cleanser. There's organic olive oil which helps melt away makeup and leaves skin feeling super soft and nourished. And olive oil is great because it's rich in antioxidants and maintains the skin's moisture barrier and helps fight damage caused by free radicals without clogging the pores. There's also rosemary leaf oil and there's also vitamin E which helps protect your skin against free radicals. And vitamin E is also naturally occurring in our sebum as well so it just really is a natural gentle cleanser so you just like pump two or three pumps of this onto your palm and then i like to kind of warm it up and then massage it onto the face and then when it comes to like stubborn eye makeup i just kind of like go over it really gently and it just slowly breaks down all the makeup that you have and wash it with warm water because it just takes away oil and when water touches this oil it emulsifies into this like gentle it doesn't foam but it turns into this like gentle mm. froth and also if you get it into your eye it doesn't sting like some of the cleansing oils tend to sting your eye but this is gentle and natural enough where it's it's kind of fine there's no fragrance in it so yeah. it's really good for sensitive skin really good for oily skin as we said don't be scared of using oils if you have oily skin and of course it's good for dry skin because olive oil is great for drier skin types so all around, all skin types. So that's the one that we both love. These are the kind of newer additions that we both tried. First starting with this one. Um, this is the Astaxanthin Collagen All-in-One Gel. And Rowena was like, you try this one because it's Lazy Girl All-in-One. And after doing some research into this, I thought it was actually really interesting. At first we're like, what is this name? <laughs> like, what are you and what, what is... do you do? Yeah. Astaxanthin is a naturally occurring carotenoid found in shrimp, lobster, crab, and salmon. And it's what helps give the pigment of the red, orangey, or yellow colors in like crawfish. So like... So there's crawfish in here? No, but it's the <laughs> pigment and it's what holds the antioxidant. Then I found out that astaxanthin is actually one of the like leaders of antioxidants, like 6,000 times more than vitamin C, 800 times stronger than CoQ10, 550 times stronger than green tea catechin. This is like the naturally derived color. And the cool thing is it's a gel cream. So it's a very lightweight cream that just sinks really quickly into the skin. And because the astaxanthin is micronized, that's what gives it the like fast absorbing qualities. Last night I cleansed, toned, and then put this on as my only kind of step. And it was so good. It's so light, but heavy enough so that mm -hmm. it's not dry and flaky in the winter. And it doesn't smell like anything, it's just like all natural. I want you to try this actually for drier skin, but I think okay. you could layer it on. Instead of going like this, I kind of just like pushed it, it yeah, into the skin. And for me, I like to tell if my skincare works in the morning, yeah. because then it's either like really plump and nice yeah. or it's like dull or yeah. something. And it was really kind of like, oddly brightening the next day. Mm -hmm. For like sensitive, acne prone, this is actually really good. And on top of the antioxidant properties, it also helps with wrinkles, fine lines, hyperpigmentation, because it is stronger than vitamin C. It's like this all around green. I wanna bathe in this. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so that was exciting. So I used this after the Foreo last night. This is the DHC Extra Nighttime Moisture. And your test of seeing how your skin is the night after or the day after, my skin was still like bing bing and super soft, super oh. supple even in the morning. Like the most hydrated it's been in a long time. So this cream is very thick. This moisturizer helps hydrate and protect skin overnight with hydrolyzed collagen, plus traditional botanical oils like olive, squalane, and licorice root. And this morning, I forgot that it's a nighttime cream oh, and, and used I used it. it. <laughs> yeah. And then? So that's a, it's a little too thick for daytime. And then oh. cuz like after using it and then putting sunscreen on top of it, I it felt more oily than it did hydrating. Mm -hmm. But nighttime for sure, this is such like a creamy thick. It feels so smooth. Yeah. Though. Yeah, it is thick. Like compared to this, when you rub it in, it kind of it's still um it's a little sticky, like tacky. Mm. Right? But yeah, which is great for nighttime because the night is when our skin is the most dehydrated. It loses most of the moisture if you don't use a heavier cream at night. This nighttime cream is definitely more suited for dry, dehydrated, parched <laughs> skin types. Summertime, I for sure won't use this mm. because it's too heavy. But wintertime right now is perfect. 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 Eye cream. This is the concentrated eye cream eye moisturizer. So it's got a blend of olive oil, 
hydrogenated palm oil and squalane. And right at the bottom, there's also even a bit of ginseng root extract. It is a cream consistency. So like with that, it's very hydrating, very nourishing, which means it will help with fine lines that develop from dryness. It doesn't leave like the white streaks sometimes mm -hmm. eye balms or eye moisturizers do. So I think it sits actually really well under makeup. I used it underneath today. And also it's not irritating to the eye. So sometimes I put on eye creams or I've tested eye creams where it kind of stings if it's too close to that eye area. So for those of you with like eye irritations or anything, I think it's gentle enough to use. I think it's interesting how most of these products contain very similar ingredients. Like they do. olive oil, squalane. Yeah. So these are just the ones that we were personally interested in trying. So if you guys have also tried some DH, See products maybe from Japan or whatever, leave them in the comments below for us to check I actually want to try them all. Mm. Gotta try them all! DHC! <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to hair. So we're gonna start off with hair tools and then go into hair care. Mm. So hair tools, this is my holy grail. Curling iron! The T3 curling iron. And for yours is the Dyson. Yeah, mine's the Dyson hair dryer. So this is the top of the range hair dryer that you will probably ever see, but it's because of the innovation, I think. First of all, there's like, it's a magnetic head, so you can actually change this from the hair dryer to the diffuser. It's actually very functional. The thing with the Dyson is that it cuts your drying time literally in half. Like I remember doing a test about this because I was like, are you really sure? And they were going on about, you know, like airflow and because yeah, like the way that it's supposed to circulate. And actually, I don't know how they did it, but they are geniuses because it really did. I like, I wet my hair, did both, timed it. And this was like magical. And there's all the like kind of normal settings. You can go from like Hot. I tried to turn it on, but I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's not plugged. In. <laughs> this is. I great. think we've all known this is great for a long time, but, but let's, the question let's, is, let's first talk about the price. Yeah. The question is, is it worth it? Four hundred dollars. Okay. I feel like if you style your hair a lot and you blow dry your hair a lot and you do a lot of like curling and volume, and if you know how to use a hair dryer, yeah. let's put that in there, and we'll get to that in yeah. a second. Or if you have really frizzy hair and you blow dry your hair every day or something like that, I think this is definitely worth it. But if you don't blow dry your hair, then I wouldn't really. Like so this. I got this for myself as a gift, mm -hmm. tried using it. I've historically never been able to, I've, ne I've never learned how to use a hair dryer. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they're like blow drying at the salon or like okay. it always gets caught. And so I, ha I actually returned mine. Cause for me, like I dry my hair and then I straighten it and or I, so you Curl go it. through like the motions of like styling after yeah. blow drying anyway. Cause my hair is so coarse and frizzy. Mm. That's a good point because after I blow dry, I'm done with different hair dryers. <laughs> like it's not frizzy, it's just like dead straight. Yeah. Um, and I know how to blow dry. So like for me, this is, this is good. Holy grail. Yeah. Never going back. Can't go back. Won't go back. <laughs> so for me, this is the T3 curler. I love T3 because all of their hair tools are a single pass, which means like you just curl it once or you just go through it once with a straightener. I also have the straightener. And for me, this is great because I do have frizzy, unruly, really coarse hair. So we used to live together and like she would be doing her hair, like, you know, clipping it up here and the rest is undone. And it was like... <laughs> It doesn't look like Asian hair. Like where it does it doesn't look come like from? it belongs on my head. Yeah, Let's like just say um, that. like a little poodle. You know yeah. how it, it's like crimpy, yeah. but not like frizzy, but like this is just, it's like just textured very textured. funnily. <laughs> yeah. So for me, I need hair tools to help. Like I need it to be really hot enough for it to be able to straighten it. And then this is great because it smooths. It's helps get rid of frizz and mm. then it helps like style all in one. Yeah. So for me, this is great. You can tell a good curling iron if the curls last more than a day by just the curling iron without any product because the heat and the ceramic plate actually all makes the difference of how your hair holds curl. The new thing is to use the, the curling wands without the cl clamp. But yeah, I, I never, like I've never been able to do this. I, I need a clamp because this helps like passing all my hair through this, yeah. it helps it smooth and straighten out. Oh yeah. So it's like straightening and curling at the same time. It's 230 or 190. Mm. It's like, it's pretty up there. 
Um, but again, it's like with use to me, compared to like getting a Brazilian blowout, which lasts about three months and that's like $300, I'd rather have something like this that I can style my hair with. Prioritize what it is that you need for your hair. Like she returned this, but like for me, this is like the end step. So this is important to me. So like whatever it is that you guys need problem wise, just find the solution in like whatever it is. You don't have to get all of it. Moving on to hair care. So these are Felicia's. <laughs> these are mine. I'm actually talking about two more. They're not here, but yeah. So let's just, let's start with mine really quick. Because my hair is already very naturally voluminous. Yes. And it's actually something that, you know, it's like grass. I'm screener. jealous of. <laughs> See, she's jealous of, but I'm jealous of her hair. I think now that I'm older, I've learned to just embrace and like deal with it and love mm. it. For my hair, it's most about defrizzing and just taming the beast. Mm. And so most of my hair care products, like the Tresemme heat protector spray, it's the only heat protectant spray that I've repurchased many, many, many times. Mm. And it's drugstore. And she uses it too. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells good, but there's fragrance. It really helps smooth out my hair mm -hmm. and it leaves like a very nice finishing yeah. like, it's gloss. Like the sheen. Yeah. It makes it like glossy. And if you use a lot of heat tools, regardless if it's blow drying, straightening, curling, just remember to use a heat protectant spray because yeah. not using it is what dries out and makes your hair damage and causes split ends. After styling, I like going in with the living proof, no frizz nourishing oil. I don't really use a lot of hair care products. Like it's hard for me to finish something. This is the mm. only thing that I actually finished before. And like I've used a lot. I took with me when I traveled. It's very like travel friendly and it helps defrizz. It helps just give that extra sheen and extra like bam. It's kind of like to seal it all off yeah. at the end. Yeah, 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 and the nourishing oils in this product, uh, also like the composition mimics the natural hair oils your hair already produces. The Alterna Caviar CC Cream, this is like 10 in one complete correction. Whoa. It does a lot. It moisturizes, shines, smooths, softens, UV protects, manageability, strength, anti-breakage, heat protectant, light hold. I also, oh. just this is like magic. So the CC in this case means complete correction mm. and it's a leave-in treatment. So actually you'd use this and then you'd use the oil last, right? Yeah. yeah. So the oil is like sealed. It's the kind deal. of like in skincare too. True. You'd like True the that. treatments and then oil at the end to kind of like seal everything in and like mm. help your hair follicles. Okay, so what I suffer with obviously is like flat limp hair. So everything that I try to do is to boost the volume. So starting off, let's first start with the mousse and the creams and the volumizing like stuff. So after the shower, if you curl your hair, if you like texture in your hair the next day, I always like to use either a mousse or a cream because it's what actually gives the hair thickness. So I have two creams that I use. One is the Diva Curl uh, Wave Maker Texture Whip. And then the other one is this full thickening cream. And both of them you use on damp hair and you put it through, like you run it through from root to end and you can either leave it to dry, air dry, or you can blow dry with it. And it just creates that like Rowena fullness because then the next day it won't be like, no, no life. It's just like, and then it gets greasy because it's so flat. There's all these like problems, and then you need like dry shampoo, which I'll get into later. <laughs> but um, regardless of whether I'm styling it the next day or not, I like to use these. And then with this mousse, this is the bamboo weightless whipped mousse. So I love mousse, but a lot of them, like I've gone through so many and it's sticky, it's like crispy when you do it on. I just stopped for so long because I'm like, mousse is just lame. And then found this one because it said strength, flexibility, sustainability. And this is like not sticky, it's flexible and it's lightweight. And you always want to put a mousse on after the shower when your hair is damp. If you put it on to like when your hair's drying, it will be sticky. The thing is, if you curl it, if you do any sort of heat styling, it'll keep the thing in. So, it's so before you can you actually, heat. yeah, any sort of heat straight out of the shower before you blow dry, before you style. And regardless of what you're doing to your hair, it'll keep that style in for days. So this is my favorite. I highly recommend this one if you guys like volume, body and you don't want it to be like heavy. So this is the shampoo that I tried. This is a Southern Belle volume boosting shampoo. Honestly speaking, I don't think it actually does a lot in boosting. It did feel like airy. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just placebo. What do you mean by airy? Um, it was like light. Like and my roots were a little bouncy. $26, not cheap for a shampoo, but 
it's okay, you don't need it. I'd rather invest my money into the aftercare. The post? Yeah, because that's what makes all the difference. My other, like, I need in my life is dry shampoo for the days, you know, that I don't wash or I'm too lazy to or, you know, we don't have time, <laughs> which is a lot of the time. The one I've been using is the Living Proof Perfect Day Hair Dry Shampoo. So I've actually gone through like three of these. And you know what's funny? It's Different hair textures just react to products so differently. Mm. Like, she uses this, she loves it. I use it, I turn into like, I look like I'm 65. <laughs> it leaves a film. Yeah, it leaves like a white coating. That but I need do to, you like, like rub it in? I you do, to, like, I do. Really? I think I put too much. Right? It's, it's... That's true, some of them are much more talky. Like yeah. they have much more powder. Yeah. So you actually have to, like not all dry shampoos are the same. So I want to mention Batiste. I actually do not like Batiste at all because I feel like once I spray it in, after maybe 35 minutes, it's oily again and it feels oilier and dirtier. Whereas like the better dry shampoos like Living Proof or even the Bumble and Bumble or the Brio Geo Charcoal one, they all actually leave the hair dry, and refreshed, fresh looking for like the entire day. So dry day. not as in drying, but as in like non-oily. As in it's absorbed the oils. Most of the dry shampoos contains a starch or a silica, which is what absorbs the grease. Mm -hmm. And I think this one has like rice starch. So it's a very natural one. So this has been my current favorite. Eliminates oil, sweat, and odor. It really does eliminate odor. It's got this like zesty smell. It's too much for me. I feel like dry shampoos in general, I'm more of the camp that like, if I'm very desperate, I'll use it. Plus, Ooh. your hair doesn't even get oily it until dies. like the fifth day. It's kind of true, it's half true. <laughs> but one thing we found, one of our team members uses the um, Innisfree, Innisfree no sebum, sebum, and she pats her hairline and she's been doing that for me. It, that works magic. That is really that good, that's a hack. For me. Yeah. yeah, because it's a setting powder for the face, but it's so fine. Yeah. Also, try not to use a lot of dry shampoo because I feel like on the days that I do and I don't wash my hair, this is just for me, I actually develop dandruff because it accumulates too much ah, oil and the products, and, the products yeah. and it like clogs pores and then you can get like scalp pimples and stuff like that. So if you have oily scalp especially, try to wash your hair. And I know people say like, don't wash your hair that often. Yeah. But once again, that really depends on like person to person because it feels nasty if I don't wash my hair. Okay, my holy grail. I also recommended this to Leah and she mm -hmm. loved it. Mm -hmm. This is the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. Oh my God, if you have fine hair, if you have no volume at all, you just run to the store and buy this now. It is a life-changing, game-changing, texturizing powder. And it's different to texturizing sprays. I've tried the Dry Bar Triple Sec. It's like a volumizing, hairspray, and dry shampoo triple thing all in one. But this one's different because it almost like, it turns into this, it's like instant. I don't know, you have to put it in for me to like, have you understand what I mean. But you have to feel it. Okay, go rub. Ah! No, go rub. Okay, feel it. Ah, oh, it's like wet. Yeah! But it gives like the most volume you will ever feel in your life. It's not actually wet. But it, yeah, it's like instant, you know, like bed hair or whatever yeah. you talk about. It's like, look at this. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, I don't know what it is. I seriously don't know. It's a weird powder to liquid, powder to like clay, powder to something. It liquefies, but oh. it's not wet. It's not wet at all. And I just find that this holds the volume. It holds like helps hold curl. And it's just amazing. This is like 16 or $17. You might look at it and be like, this is not much for $17, but you only but need But you also don't need much. I, need like, I just it. put so little and yeah. Wow. It's crazy. And it like stands against heat, you know, in humidity, your mm -hmm. hair goes flat. In summer, I use this all the time because it's just like, boom. I use this also after I, um, on the days that you wash your hair, you know how it's like too straight, too clean. So this, this back in. does this, same or not not the same? Uh, they're it's not a bit dry different. shampoo. Right? No, it's not dry it's shampoo. Just texture, straight of volume texturizing. Yeah. As with skincare, hair care, any care, like we're all such unique <laughs> snowflakes. Yes. That you see like everything that works with her, I'm just like, that's great. But if I were to use it, like, 
cannot relate. <laughs> cannot relate, cannot do it, it just won't work. And yeah. then for what I use, probably for her, it's like, I don't need more oil, it's already so strong. Yeah, I would never, like, I mean, at the ends, it's maybe? It's just for the ends, I don't put it in the roots. Yeah. I haven't used an oil since, like, grade 12, when I severely damaged my hair from bleaching it. Yeah. But after that, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, so it's like everything, it's like a very personal journey of like discovering what works for you and mm. the things that we recommend to you guys. If you can relate to my hair texture, you can like go out and see and maybe yeah. try some samples. Same thing with Felicia, but I think at the end of the day, it's important to look into these things and figure out what works best for you. Fun fact, hair care is going to be like the next wave. Because you know how for a while it's like so. Korean skincare? Now it's like Korean hair care. Yeah. And we'll be doing a lot more videos about those yeah. in the coming weeks. Because I think everyone's collectively confused about hair. Yeah. Like we don't know, it's either up or down. We don't know what to do with it. We don't really know how to care for it and why there's so many products yeah. out there, what the difference is. And did you um, know that your hair also has like hair type? Like your, your scalp? Yeah. Like oily combo scalp. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Because it's genetic, right? Like we say with our skin type. It's genetic and so it translates through and the rest of the body. Too. Yeah, the yeah. scalp. So that is our hair and skincare Ulta haul. Hope you guys enjoyed our like product recommendation. And also the DHC products that are available at Ulta, but also online. So make sure you let us know if you guys have any more questions about any of those products or hair. Leave them below for our next few videos. And make sure you've caught up on our skincare series because we're going to slowly expand on that makeup, hair, body. I'm gonna like do some body acne because you guys also asked for it as well. <laughs> and because she's like, I have it, I want I to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, so until next time, bye.